Hey everyone, I'm Caleb Templeman. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make your photos look epic and editing your photos with Adobe Lightroom. Now here on the phone, what you want to do is you want to open up the Adobe Lightroom app. What you want to do is you want to go down to the bottom right and you want to press on the little plus icon. You want to press on this and now you want to add your photo. Depending on the size and how many photos you've got, this may take some time. So we've now made it onto the editing area. Now some of the features do require an upgrade which we're not going to go through today. Now you can go to crop, you can obviously crop your image which will crop that now and you can go to profiles. You can actually click on basic and you can change, you know, you can change it to a different profile really whatever you want. Now you can actually go to light and here's where it gets cool. We've got the option to edit our exposure. Yes, let's say if you've taken a dark photo, you can add your exposure up. Or maybe it's a bit too high up, you could put that down. I'm going to leave that to the standard. The contrast, to make it a good photo. Don't put it all the way up this end at minus 100. I recommend you put it at about 79 or 80. Luckily with, you know with the highlights likewise do it up a bit to get that more exposure thing with shadows as well you can actually add your shadows as well if you want likewise you can edit your whites and you can also edit your blacks as well you can see that doesn't really look good so we can scale it down a little bit to really put it back to the default click out of there up next you can go to color you can change your temperature, you can change the temperature of your photo so we can get it really blue or we can get it really yellowish greenish. So we're going to go about that and make it nice and green, you can change your tint, always recommend doing that, let's go about 67 for this one. You can change your, you know, you can change really anything with the photo. Let's change our saturation, you can change your saturation, black and white doesn't look good for this one. Put our saturation to about minus 27. Once you've done that, go to your effects, you can actually change your effects, you can edit your texture, move it up and down, just like this, you can see it gives it a bit of an effect there. Or as well, take it back to the original image, look at that, you can clearly see, that's our original image, and then the, the custom image is like there. So you can clearly see that there is a lot of difference, we can obviously edit all of our images to make it look you know to make it look real spectacular and give it a real wow factor uh, so to speak you can go to mix you can actually change different colors to your image for example we go green we can change give it a real green we can really up that saturation you can go done and then you know you can actually go black and white as well black and white looks okay in this image but not necessarily so we can see we have our image there now if you don't like that you can simply press on the back button and you can simply go back uh, back 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 and you can actually go back to you know your original default your default one that you said now depending on how many times you set back it will go back to here obviously and that's going to refresh and that's going to go back we're going to just going to we're going to redo a few of our things here and then as you can see as you press that redo button it will actually redo for you remember you can really edit anything as you go as I said very very good app I'm just gonna go back into the color I'm gonna change all of the temperatures I'm gonna change the tint and now we're gonna go mix we're gonna make it a green we're gonna make it more green we may want to throw on some red or even some blue I like red very very nice we can see we've added that green and you can see that really makes our photo a wow factor. Press done. Now doesn't this look cool? So we're going to press on the three dots when we're done. And then what you want to do is you want to press on save to device. Highest available quality. Now this will save and export. It will prepare. Now as it says here this may take a moment so it might take a moment to prepare. Okay, doesn't this photo look great? Let's press on the three dots, press on save to device. Let's go, let's just go limit, don't need highest quality for this one, which I always recommend, highest quality, but let's just go limit for now. Press okay, this will prepare, and this will export. Let's compare the images. So 
So that was Lady Jing with Adobe Lightroom. Let's take a look at our final result. Here is the original, here is the edited version. Thanks for watching, subscribe and turn on post notifications for more. Bye for now.